All right, so I thought I would take a minute here and uh, test out the Mericast functionality on this Nexus 10 uh, tablet. Uh, last week I tested out the um, Witty or Wide Eye functionality on a, on a Dell Latitude uh, E7440. So the uh, Nexus 10 does seem to boot up pretty fast. Okay, that was uh, obviously coming out of the front facing speakers, which I think are really nice and they make a difference. I'm going to go ahead and uh, come into my settings. And under display, I'm going to select wireless display. And then I'm going to flip that on. And you can see that it does find the uh, PVT3000 almost immediately. This is the Netgear PVT3000 with uh, up to date firmware on it. So we'll select that. And this works a little differently than the uh, wide eye uh, test that we ran last week where I had to type in a security code to actually make the connection. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's the way it works. Okay, so there it is. And I just put a couple of widgets on the uh, desktop so we can see something happen. So it's a little bit uh, delayed. I wouldn't say that it's too awfully bad, but uh, you can see that there's a bit of a delay. Let's test out a video here. And the audio is obviously uh, coming out of the TV rather than the tablet. And I haven't used the uh, Nexus 10 tablet a whole lot, but uh, so far I've been, you know, really impressed with the uh, the fluidness and um, sharpness of the screen. I mean, it's it's extremely uh, fast compared to the tablet I'm used to. But you can see here we're running this at uh, 1080p and. Um, it's pretty responsive. See, I'm, I'm blocking out the motion of the right side there. So I don't think that's too bad. I mean, that's definitely a functional um, screen mirroring. Um, I don't know how well it would work for gaming, uh, but for presentations and watching videos and so forth, uh, which is probably what it's primarily designed for, I think it's going to work really well. And it's um, more than uh, sufficient uh, in terms of the response time as well as the clarity and the audio as well, at least in the tests that I've run so, so far. So uh, let's give that a shot here. Well, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, if you're looking into Mericast and Wide Eye and all this type of thing like I am, uh, I'm eagerly awaiting the day when we won't be using a Push to TV 3000. Uh, I think we're starting to see more devices, uh, you know, with the functionality built in. And uh, if you go to your Best Buy or wherever you buy your electronics, you're going to start to see that uh, Wide Eye and Mericast will be supported on a lot more devices as we move forward. And uh, I look forward to doing more tests. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave questions and comments below.